Hey everyone, I have Melissa Brown with me, the mother of six children. I'm Andrea Abert. I'm the mother of seven. And we're going to talk to you about this uh, incredible business that's completely changed our lives and, and hasn't just changed them to date. It continues to change them every single day, every single week, every single month, and every single year for the better um, with our own lives, with the lives we impact. And we want to share a little bit about that. And I feel like the more stories we can share with you, the more you're going to find someone that you connect with. And the more you're going to be like, oh my gosh, if they can do it, I can do it. So we're not here like rock stars. And that's why I wanted Melissa to come on to this presentation because it's all about Melissa today and with the success she's had because she she's someone who's like, if I can do it, you can do it. And Melissa, who presents on stage so flawlessly, does it because she's like, look, if I mess up, if I make a mistake, if I fall, I want you to laugh and I want you to say, if she can do it, I can do it. And, that, and that's what we really wanted to hone in today. So Melissa, can you introduce yourself? And first of all, thank you for coming on because as a mom of six, I mean, we have 13 children between us. This isn't like always easy to, to coordinate this. So thank you for that. Can you share your story, um, how Life Vantage came to you, um, what where you were before, what you were looking for, um, and, and just, just your journey thus far? Yeah, I would love to. Thanks for having me. I just, I adore you. And I think when you guys hear my story, if you know, Andrea, you're like, oh, they're very similar, you know? And so, uh, yeah, six kids, only two at home today. So it's going to be pretty quiet. I think fingers crossed. We'll fingers see. Crossed, right? Um, <laughs> but so we found life vantage four and a half years ago. Um, wasn't on our radar, had never heard of it before, but we were getting ready to start full-time traveling. So my husband and I and our kids lived in the 800 square foot little fixer upper on the Montana, North Dakota border. We were trying to get West and, um, we were in North Dakota. We got into Montana. <laughs> we didn't get very far and it was supposed to be a three or no, I'm sorry. It was supposed to be a one year live in this house and flip it. Yes. That's a challenge guys. I don't suggest you do it. Um, but we're like, we'll just do a one year. This is a great investment. And then we can move on with our next journey. And actually we were, our plan was to be in Oregon where you're at right now. That was yeah. like our next goal. Um, but we kind of got stuck and we had a food truck. My kids and I did that. I love business. Um, I love entrepreneurship. I want my kids to have a really great work ethic. Like that's extremely important to me. And so I'm like, well, let's just do this all together. And it was great. We had fun, but we worked our butts off and you only made money when you were sweating and you're standing there. And like, we went to like rodeos and fairs and my kids were like, we want to like, go do that. Go stuff. There. We and wanna, I'm like, yes. oh, but we have to like, work the sand flip the crepes get another coffee yeah. that's what we're doing here and um it wasn't ideal right it was a good lesson but it wasn't ideal and so i i'd see these people making money online and i knew i like i just really a joke but i that i married my husband because like 20 years ago this this was not insta famous at this time right 20 years ago my husband said I will, I'll travel around the country in a school bus with you. That sounds awesome. Wow. Like, yes. Somebody that's like wild and crazy like me, let's do it. Um, and I always had this dream of just, I'm just a gypsy. Like I want to see everything. I want to meet everybody. I want to experience it, you know? And I felt very trapped. We lived in a very remote area. Um, it was like three and a half hours to a target. It was wow. seven hours, six hours. And that's, that's a struggle. Um, my husband had the golden handcuffs, you know, he made really great money, but we didn't have any time to go anywhere. We couldn't spend, I mean, you so we couldn't spend it, but you know, yeah. And I'm just like, life is too short. This sucks. We're not happy. We need to do something different we've got to figure this out. And so, um, I had a little couple streams of income coming on, in online and I had a plan for a natural health product that we were going to manufacture and sell, but I got hung up. Like I needed a website. I needed a lawyer. I needed the stuff and the details aren't my jam. Okay. Oh, and I'm you like, definitely need a lawyer if you're going to do anything I'm natural. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and I got hung up on those things 
and just happened to bump into a guy in a Facebook group. I was actually trying to, I was like doing some digging for what I was going to do. And it was in a full-time traveling group. And I said, how do you guys keep your families healthy while traveling full-time? And in case you don't know, a lot of the full-time travelers are network marketers and that, because you can work from anywhere, right? right? You have that kind of flexibility that so many of us are just deeply craving. And so it was a lot of spam. Like people were very salesy, like, you know, and it's just, we don't want to be sold to, you know, nope. there's just this part of us that puts up a wall and I'll never forget this. My enroller, his name's Jason. Jason said, essential oils, colloidal silver, and nutrigenomics. And I was like, well, check, check, nutrigen, what? Like, what, what is this we're talking about, right? And I was curious. Yeah. And so I asked him like, what's nutrigenomics? And he said, you know, using nutrition to turn on your genes, get that going again. And I'm like, that's awesome. So in my mind, this guy's smart and he wasn't salesy. I didn't know he had a business to join, honestly. So sometimes him and I argue about that. I'm like, I could have started sooner, dude. Um, <laughs> but we started talking. Yeah. We started talking. I was asking him some other business questions. And then it just happened that I was scrolling on Instagram one day. Both of us were traveling with our families and we ended up in the same place at the same time. It's a God I was thing. like, hey, you know, totally, totally. Yeah. I was like, why are you here? And he said, I'm here giving a talk on creating generational wealth for entrepreneurs. And I was like, so can't, like I couldn't text fast enough. You know, I was like, can I come? Mm -hmm. And, uh, thankfully he said, yes, oh he, he let me come. Um, but I'll tell you, like at first he started talking to me about science a long time ago, but in the beginning of our relationship, I have learned the science to do this business, but science isn't like my first language. You know, yeah. I love people and I love business and I'm learning the science to do this because, if you guys have been around for a minute, you understand what we have is so powerful and we can help so many people with it. So I got to learn how to share it. Right. Exactly. Um, anyhow, so we went to this meeting, I invited myself and I think that's another part that reminds me of Andrea. Like, I know what I want. Let's, um, let's get go. it. Like, oh let's, let's go now, you know? Um, and we ended up coming in, my husband and I each bought a position in the company. It was actually my husband's 40th birthday. He said, I want to do this. I love the amount of mentorship that's here. And actually my husband researched the products because it was a business meeting Yes, because this is a generational company. We can will these, um, what we're building here. We can will this to our children, our grandchildren and build generational wealth. And so I was listening to the business stuff. I thought it was great for my other business things, but I didn't know what the products were, but my husband, he's the scientist and he's like, Melissa, this is actually amazing. Wow. You should really look at it. And I'm like, oh, really? Okay. And, and then he said, let's do this. I, I love the mentorship that's available to us. Uh, let's go. And that was like four and a half years ago. We, you know, we ran fast and hard. So um, if you don't, if you're, if you're not in the thing, the lingo doesn't really make sense, but um, we earned a six figure income in less than two years, not Melissa. coming from network marketing, not coming from you know, we didn't have a big team. We were just moving over with us. It was, we knew a lot of entrepreneurs. We knew a lot of people that were into natural health. And I just said, Hey, I got something. I think this is it. You guys got to check it out. And I just kept saying that over and over. And I would have my mentor talk to them. Cause I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, and, and I just ran with that. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I don't know this fully. I know some nuggets, but listen to him. And then I just kept listening and then I started sharing and now it's just, it's booming and we've helped thousands of people. And I have people now that have like quit jobs. They hated that travel full time, that dads are home and moms are home with the kids. Now, like wow. we've seen so much awesomeness. I'm eternally grateful Me for too. this because it, it radically has changed our lives. Um, yeah. Melissa, when I listen to your story, I have goosebumps because our mm -hmm. stories parallel perfectly. And so what we, what we always see is like, when we're doing an interview like this, when we're inviting you to these groups, we're not, we are looking for the Melissa's and Andrea's. We're looking for the, the moms who desperately love their families, desperately love their husbands, want to get out of the rat race. We know that we're just stuck and broke and there's no way out of the system at all. There, there's serious, there, there is no, and I saw no out. In fact, Melissa, I can cry for my old mindset because I wanted to see my husband so bad. He was an executive chef working like 
these 14 hour days, six days a week, gone holidays. I call myself the weekend, weekend widow. He had work people I didn't know. I had friends from homeschool and in church that he didn't yeah. know. So we almost had these two separate lives. And I was like, I love him. I'm, we love each other the most and we see each other the least. And, um, and I remember thinking, if I can find a way to work part-time when the kids get a little older, that will relieve him and he can work part-time and then we'll have part-time together. And I want to cry for that little person who didn't know what was possible. And, um, and again, for my mindset, they didn't understand in business. And so we're looking for that mom who's looking, 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 because when this opportunity came to me, I was like, that's it. Boom. And like, thank you, God. And we went running with it. So the moment we signed up with this company, and we're about four years, um, almost like parallel to you, October will be our four year anniversary. I remember we we didn't look back. I just thank God for the vehicle. I knew that was the vehicle. And then we never looked back. We were just like, we're staying in this vehicle mm-hmm. until until we get where we need to go. And we saw again, like how many lives we can change. But again, like for Melissa and I, it was the business. It was the business that was going to get us out. And I'll tell you what, like if you live in the system, you get system sick care, you get system vacations, you get system everything and systemized school. And we don't want that kind of life for our families. And uh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to, Melissa, is having the income where I can just take my kids to a chiropractor, take my kids to a holistic dentist, not think twice about it, get the kind of care we need so we're not stuck um, getting the, the the services that the government is going to provide for us. Right. Which is a big deal. Yeah. So tell I want to read to you, you when you just said... Um talking about getting out of the system, one of a gal on my team said, how would you respond to this? And this is the stuff that I oftentimes forget because even like you, Andrea, like I was home with my kids, like from the moment I had my first one, I was like, no, I'm going to be with you. Me too. But my husband missed out on him. My husband, until we started traveling full time, he had, he had never, like he did yeah. not know these kids, you know? Um, and there's a lot of responsibility on that one parent to take care of these kids. And it's, it's hard. I just heard uh, hard. a thing the other day. They said that the, um, they, this person was measuring stress. A scientist was measuring stress and found that a stay at home parent had higher stress levels than like a cardiac surgeon. No way. And I was like, Oh my goodness. But, but listen to this, because these are the things that I forget about that. I have to remind myself that there are people trapped, that there are people that see no way out. Um, this woman posted on Facebook. She said, Today is my last official paid day off for the next five-ish weeks. I will be paying, and I don't totally understand this. I have so many questions after this post, but she'll be paying $241 a day in order to stay home with her son, like a brand new baby. It's going to end up costing me about $6,000 for 24 extra days at home after taxes, insurance, retirement, and more. I make around $2,000 a month, $2,000 a month being gone away all the time, right? That's three of my paychecks. Also my paid time off was my sick leave. I saved up America. You suck sometimes. And she doesn't know. And she, and she, well, one of my gals is reaching out to her like, Oh friend, there's another way. Right. And I think oftentimes in this industry, they say like, who's your target market? Like who's your avatar, this person you really want to speak to. And I'm like, and it's usually you, you, pre life advantage, right? It's yeah. and so it's like it's the mom for me that's the entrepreneur, right? That already has that like can do spirit. Yeah. And I'm uh, homeschoolers, we have that independent thing yeah. already running through us pretty strong. Um but that's tried a lot of stuff and is ready to make some serious cash. And I'm telling you guys the the intense emotional security I feel that I know like I could take next month off and I would still make a 10 I'm sorry I would make a five figure check the next month even if I didn't do anything right even if my kids got sick and all I could do was take care of my child for a month guys the peace that that brings it's worth, you know, $900 jump in, buy the big kit, go all in, go to some trainings, go hang out with cool people, learn how to do this, share, 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 watch people get better, watch people start dreaming again, watch people like the mental stuff start clearing up for them, their emotional stuff clearing up for them. They're like, 
I can do this. There's a way out and watching people get hope again. And I get paid really well for that. It's such a blessing. It's such a blessing. You know, Melissa, a blessing for you and I, I think because we were so desperate and so hungry and because we tried so many things. So you talk about flipping a house. One of my kids looked through my phone the other day and they saw a picture of me. And I was, I actually saved the picture. That's why it was up. But it's a five-year-old picture that I purposely saved. So it was, it was in the scroll back feed. My son goes, oh my gosh, mom, you look so bad. My 11 year old. And he's my sweet son. He's very sweet. And I said, yeah, Basti, that's, that's why I kept that picture. Cause I, I know I look really bad in that picture. And in the picture, I'll have to put it up. I'm wearing jeans splattered in paint. I'm tired with my hair pulled back. I've got a toddler on my arm and you don't see that I have an infant somewhere sleeping. I'm in a horribly ugly house with a stripped apart kitchen because my husband and I were going to do the same thing as you just to get ahead. We were, we bought, I mean, we weren't the Americans who were like, let's go buy the pretty little house. We we're like, let's go buy the crappiest, ugliest, cheapest, yep. most foreclosed <laughs> house that we can get our hands on yep. so that we can get ahead in the system. And in this picture is me. And I, and I tried so hard. And not only that, was I working on building the foreclosed house with my husband who worked ridiculous hours. Um, oh my gosh. The picture just tells a thousand words but I'm tired and I, and I'm desperate and little do people know that aside from all of that, I was not tucking my kids at night and, and reading them bedtime stories because my husband wasn't there. He didn't get home till like 11 o'clock at night. So I had to get those kids in bed and then I had to go to work. And I knew that if I read them a story, I would fall asleep with them because it happened mm-hmm. time and time again. And I couldn't risk that happening. So I was like, Oh no, no, we'll read the story another time. We are always putting it off. Cause I, I had, that was my time to get things done. And I was looking at courses. I invested in a real estate course. I invested in a virtual assistant course. I'm a horrible assistant. I'm a, I'm an entrepreneur. I am. Yeah, you need an worst. assistant. Yeah. I need an assistant because yeah. I, I like in so many ways, I need an assistant. I'm the world's worst assistant, but meaning I tried so many things mm-hmm. out of desperation to get our family out of the hole while my husband was working and providing for us, knowing yeah. that there was something different. And God's put that spirit in, in different people. And so, so it's not about the woman taking over. We're, we're a team and we, we want to be together. And I, God put it in my heart that there, there had to be a different way, you know? And so I so relate to that. And so that's, that's who we're speaking to today. If you're that person that's like gone down different channels and you understand what Melissa and I are talking about, the beautiful thing about us, Melissa, is when the opportunity came, we didn't have time to freeze or pause or think, What's someone going to think about me? Oh my gosh. Am I going to come across as salesy? Oh my gosh. They're going to think I'm calling them because we didn't have time. We were just like, I, I got it. Let's go. You know? And I think that's a blessing. I think that's why you ran so fast. You didn't have time for any doubt to creep into your mind that, that, that naysaying, you know, that so many people run into, um, because we were just so over that at that point. Yeah. I think there's definitely a benefit to people like, I had had people tell me that my choices were bad for a really long time and I kept making those choices and they turned out really well. So I feel like there's kind of, you know, the, they're An like, immunity. you don't want to have that many kids. You don't want to be a stay at home mom. You shouldn't homeschool. And I was like, no, really, this is what I want to do. And, and I think that kind of muscle of not caring. So it's like, if you say no to me, that's fine because I know other people are going to say yes. And I know this works. Um, and it's, but yeah, I think uh, the the mind chatter is the game that we have to overcome, you know, oh and, and it's what we have is powerful and every force is going to come against you to not share it. Oh my gosh. I because love you so much. Just... You're just like, you're my soul sister. And, and Melissa and I aren't even on the same team. We're cousins in the company. Like we, we just love and adore each other because we're so passionate about this. And that's also the beautiful thing about the culture of our company, just everyone mm-hmm. coming together. Melissa, you've been in this four and a half years. You've had this great success. So can you just talk, is it duplicable? Can someone else do it? What about the timing right now? What about this new product? Can you just like, I I mean, I almost wish I started now, except that I don't. Like, I'm just like anyone who knows what we've been through in the last four and a half years, if you could start right now, I think it's ideal. Yeah, I, you know, the thing is, it's like my mentors have been doing this for 13 years, right? And that was one of the things that was like, wait, you guys have been making money like for 13 years. I you know, most businesses close in their first five years. And the fact that we have this solid, solid foundation that we get to springboard from, like we're so blessed by all the work that people have put in and that they're continuing to put in. And I'm telling you, like 
Oh, I don't, where's my bottle? My, my liquid <laughs> collagen activator. You guys, this stuff, you could build a business on only this product, right? Yeah. You understand that there's people that build their entire businesses just working with horses. There's people, I mean, people come in and they have a different calling. Like they have a different group I've of people. people. Or the injuries, you know, when kids are injured through their wellness mm -hmm. visits, people build a business just on that. Yeah. And it's really like, it, it, I mean, the power of all of us collectively working together is what makes the big difference, you know? And I, I see these moms making like signs and t-shirts and stuff. And it's like, that's a, I mean, you can make some fast cash, right? You can go to this art sale and sell a bunch but I know you didn't sleep for days beforehand, right? You're yeah. just making these things and you can only make so many signs. You can only make so many shirts, right? But like for us with our crepe truck, like I could only make so many crepes at a time and yeah. people were like mad at me for taking too long, right? Yeah. But with this, we can all work together. It, it benefits me to share every single tip trick idea I have with Andrea. And like she said, we're cousins in the business. And I love that. I love the collaboration of Life Vantage. Our compensation plan is set up in a way that encourages us all to share with each other. Like I could call all the tops in the company and they would help me. They would answer my phone call. They would do that because they know, A, I'm working, right? I'm, yeah. They've you know heard of me. It's not like, you know, whatever. But also it benefits them for me to, to thrive and develop yeah. and but this this uh, the only liquid collagen activator in the world the only the results we're getting are crazy the testimonies we're getting i mean they're mind-blowing and they're visual i think that's that's do you know this um just to talk to this real quick for anyone think get getting ready to join because we are promoting this within our our, our business groups this is selling 400 percent more than the company even predicted and this company wasn't born yesterday they're, right. they're not just so green and so off. I mean, that, this thing is just taken off. And a lot of times I think, because what we have with NRF2 and this concept of activation, because that's what we're all about, is still so new for people, right? But they understand the word collagen. Mm -hmm. They're going to understand NRF2. It's going to be a household name, but this collagen, they already understand. And this is a beautiful way right. for them to begin to understand the power of activating our own genes to make themselves... Melissa, we're bound to have a we're bound to have a visitor, so please don't worry. <laughs> please don't worry. My little and guy is like, Mom, Mom. yeah. And you know what? The, my kids are down at the lodge playing with my husband, but I have a 14 month old sleeping in my bed, and we're in a tiny RV in the middle of the forest in Oregon. And um, I'm I'm just like, thank you God that he's not awake. <laughs> thank you that we didn't wake him up. This is perfect. Yeah. Um, so just know we're just real moms. We're hungry. We we want better. We want health for our family, but we want to have more options and we want to have time. And so Melissa's got that. Um, just closing up, Melissa, because you started out like me traveling, but you're, and, and that was our goal, just to have, we do want a homestead. We do want to do that next, but we did want to take two years to just travel around the country and be together. And that's what we're doing right now. What are you guys doing? So we ended up settling down, but our kids were a lot older. So yeah. when we were traveling, when we launched, our oldest was 14 and then we had a 12 year old and then on down. Um, and there was just a point that there, I, you know, they wanted a job. I'm like, why do you want a job? Work yeah, for yourself. Yeah, they wanted a job. They wanted a driver's license, you know? So we traveled for two years. We settled down when my oldest was 16. Um, and now we live in Colorado Springs, Colorado, which we love. Uh, you know, we get nature and we're, we're close to stuff. You know, I talked about in the beginning, like, we were very remote, right? Well, yeah. now, now Target's just down the road from me and <laughs> so handy, but um, we found a lot of like-minded people and settled down. And now our goal is to travel more, but while having this home base um, that where, you know, my six-year-old has a little best friend and that's just, it's so cute to see that. And it is, honestly, this is the first time in our lives that I'm, I'm 45 and this is the first time that we've ever lived somewhere that we weren't like oh this is just for a season before like That's my true. husband was in college you know we were paying off college and so we always knew it had this end date and it's like oh hey like I mean we could move if we wanted to but we could this could be our home base forever and uh and my husband 
he actually, we use this to start another business. And so he mentors a bunch of guys and has this whole other business that he does that he loves. Um, but we love entrepreneurship. And so we're always talking about that. We're working with teens in that got, we're really active in a lot of areas, but, um, our goal is, you know, my next goal. And I'm just going to keep it. saying this because yeah. I want it to happen. Right. And I'm like, put it out there. Speak it to life. I kept saying it and now my husband's saying it and I didn't. So it's working okay. already. Tell me. I'm like, but I want, I want to take December off every year. I oh. can't stand Christmas presents. I'm like, I don't want to yeah. buy junk. I want to go travel. I want to take the kids and go see the world and oh just take God. that month every single year and go see something new and experience a different culture. You and know what's going to happen? Your husband's going to be like, that was my idea. I totally <laughs> and I'll be like, that's a good idea, <laughs> honey. Good idea. <laughs> That's the secret to a good marriage. <laughs> My husband's always like, I thought of that name. That was totally me. I'm like, I don't think so. But <laughs> although there's some messaging. True. Yeah, but it's yeah. actually true. And I think it, it, the reverse happens. Yeah. Melissa, thank but you I think, so much. I'm, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It. I just want to say, but with that though, it's also, you know, helping as many people to get what where we've gotten, right? And that's like, I want as many people to feel this feeling as possible. You know, I've got a, a new distributor just joined my team and she's like grasping at straws. And she's like, I just got this other job. Like I need money right now. And I'm sending her a text and I'm like, okay, but if you sold collagen, like if you sell a month of collagen to a new person, I think it's like $56 you're going to get. And I was like, imagine if you sold two of those a day, like then you don't have to go get that job. Like you're going to make way more than you were going to get at that job. Yeah. And I think sometimes we just need to break down the numbers for people yeah. and show them like, we're here. There's so much support. You guys don't try and do this alone. Like I had n no idea, you know, Andrew was talking about like, I don't mind messing up because I, I mean, of course I do. Right. Yeah. It's like, no one wants to look the fool, but I also know that I don't want a mentor that I, where I feel like I have to be perfect for my mentor, you know? Right. And so when I'm bringing people in the business, I want them to know like, Hey, we're on the job training. We're learning as we go. I'm going to help you. Everybody's going to make a mistake. Don't even worry about it. Learn, do review. You're going to learn yeah. this stuff. We're going to put it into practice right away. And then you're going to be like, Oh, that could have went better. Let's fix that for next time. And we're going to do it again because too many people get stuck in the learning and it's just safe and easy there. You don't have to fear yeah. of failure but that's not where you're going to thrive guys. And so I just say, follow your leaders. They've been there. They've done it, you know, and ask all the questions. I'm telling you, if, if you have a question, it's been asked before people can get you the answer um, and they want to help you succeed. So just try, try. Do you know, Melissa, that, that quote that says the only difference between you and the person doing it is that they're doing it. Like literally, that, that's the only difference. They're just doing it. They just said yes. And they're saying yes every day and getting up again and again and again. They're just doing it. Yep. And it's possible. I just, I love this industry with every fiber of my being. And I'm yeah. so looking forward to seeing you at Global. I know yeah. that's coming up. So listen, guys, thank you so much. I know we I've gone a little bit over the half hour mark that I was trying to aim for, but Melissa, I could talk to you all day. You tell your story and, and it... I, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Everything you say. <laughs> and I know you feel that with That's my how story. I feel the same when you talk. I'm it's like, totally, oh, yes. You're so right. yeah. I hope that someone is listening to the call is an Andrea or Melissa five, six, seven, eight years ago, 10 years ago. And mm -hmm. you're starting to see, oh my gosh, I can do this. And actually, I will say one more thing. I actually think, Melissa, it's a blessing in disguise that I thought I was dumb because I, I don't have a degree. And I honestly thought that the only people out there making money were doctors and lawyers. My dad was an anesthesiologist and I was like, I really don't have money for school. I don't have time for school and I don't have the interest or maybe even the capacity to go to school. So this is my lot in life. Here I am. Almost like we're in the Indian caste system where we're like, okay, well, this is, this is my lot in life, you know, and I shall go in through life in this Indian caste system. You know, I'm at this rank. Um, and then you discover you're, you're very intelligent. We're all very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Usually it's when something excites us or get, you know, intrigues us we're all very very intelligent and um, I discovered that I'm an entrepreneur and if you're listening you might just be the most badass entrepreneur that ever existed and we'd love to talk to you <laughs> so Melissa yeah. do you want to close it up and then I will just hit that well, I'm like from what you I could 
I could talk for an hour on what you just said, but I won't. But just, I mean, entrepreneurs are usually B and C and maybe D students. They um, A students and B students usually work for the other grades. Um, <laughs> you know, there's just something in that. And I'll tell you, a big part of that is um, I teach teen entrepreneurship. That's one of my favorite things to teach. And um, so with our homeschool group, I'm very active in, in helping these teenagers. And I'm like, you guys, the thing is, is those straight A students are perfectionists. And when you come into owning your own business, you have to be a f- willing to take a risk. You have to be willing to look the fool. You have to be willing to lose, right? And the thing is, like we said, I said in the beginning, most businesses fail in the first five years. This business doesn't. We know Life Advantage has has a solid foundation. You can do it. The only failure, honestly, with this is if you quit, because it's just you have to learn different skills. We all come in with different giftings and skills, but if you're open and coachable, what we have works. So, um, Ben, don't, don't take yourself too serious. It's okay. If you make a mistake, if you fail, we just got to learn from it, right? It's a lesson. Let's learn from it and move on. Um, because Andrew, you're a genius. Like I I love, there's this homeschool thing. I, I was talking to those kids about this the other day, actually, like there's this meme and it's like, you wouldn't judge an elephant on how well it could climb a tree. Like you're not going to, you know, rate this, a monkey and an elephant on the same scale. And it's the same for all of us, right? We all have different giftings and talents. Um, and it's not by accident, you know, it is absolutely not by accident what your calling and giftings are. So keep, keep, keep trying guys. Melissa, I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to just end this right now, but you guys, thanks so much. Get with the person who invited you to this presentation and uh, let's get started on building your future. God bless. Take care.